In this tutorial, I will show you exactly how to use Proposify to send proposals and documents for signature, how you can use it to collect payments, and basically everything that you may want to do with Proposify. So to get started, just head over to Proposify.com and from there you can simply click start free trial and you will get access to a 14 day trial and there is no credit card required to start that. So just enter these details and click create my account. After doing that, you will get to their onboarding. So first, what best describes your role? For example, I will go sales manager, then how many employees are at your company, say 11 to 50, and what country do you live in? For example, in the United States. Then click let's get started. So then it will say welcome to Proposify and now you can actually get started using it. Now to get started, you can watch this video, but it's all pretty straightforward, so you don't have to. I recommend to actually follow these steps though. So first add your branding, so click update logo first. Now if you have your logo on your computer, just going to click here to upload it or you can drag it in from your downloads. So for example, if this is my logo, I can just upload it. Now, as you can see, the maximum size of your logo needs to be 1000 by 1000 pixels. If it's more than that, then you can search for a downscale image and then downscale it to that size. But I'll just quickly upload a different one. Now, after you upload it, you will see it right there. Now, from here, you can also choose the subdomain for your proposify.com and you can go and set up a custom domain if you'd like to. Now, I'm just going to cancel this and click save. Now, you can always do that later, of course. Now, after you've done this, I recommend going back to your dashboard and then here in the right, you can see the getting started list. So next, check your profile information Then here you can click to add your teammates. So basically you can invite them through email. So enter their first and last name, email address and pick their role. Now, right now I only have admin, but you can just invite people through here and then they will get an email that looks something like this. So then again, go back to the dashboard and then next up, you can add your first client. So you need to first create a client to send a proposal to them. So in the client section here in the left, just click new client and now add a new company contact or import a contact. I will say new company. Now a company can actually have multiple contacts inside of it, but right here, just enter these details and click save. Then after you've added the company, you can either click done or click add contact. Now, if you want to send a proposal, then you will need to add a contact because you will need to send it to their email address. But just enter these details or at least what you know, and then click save. So after you save them, you can also add more contacts or you can just click done. And now you have added this first client right here. Now in the left, you can just go back to the dashboard and now you can first start with building your first templates. So in the left section here, you have the templates and then here you can click use my starter template. Now you can also view their gallery of sample templates. But if you click use my starter template, you will then see the logo right here and the colors. So you can just choose which color you want to use in your template. So they will take that from your logo. Then you can click looks good onto the template or go back and upload a different logo. And then you will see this. So this is a template that you can go and customize. So first of all, you can just scroll through it and see everything right here. So you have the pages in the left right here. You can basically see what the template looks like. Now these in the left right here are the sections. Now if you click plus, you can also add your own sections such as a page flow, static, you can import PDF or you have a library of sections. So you can also pick one from there. Now from here, you can just go ahead and design how you want everything to look and you'll see the colors have been imported from your logo automatically. Then here you can write the proposal name and basically you don't have to do this every single time. This will just be saved as a template so that the first time it will take a couple of hours to design everything. But after that, you can just do it within just a few minutes and you can set the pricing and stuff like that right here. You can see the products so over in the right. You can actually choose the pricing and stuff like that in the pricing library right here. And basically you just want to go and customize this all. Now, for example, if you want to change the price here, you can just write whatever you want. You can also remove any products that you'd like to. And in the top right, you can also click edit styles and formatting. And then you can also select a type of style and the tables right here as well. And the page. So if you want to change something that is more general, such as any margins, then you can do that right there. So just go and edit all of this. And after you're done, you can then click generate proposal. 
So now you have saved it as a template. So you can see you have selected the template starter template. And now you can see the document name. Now you may want to change that. Then here you need to select the client. So now you can just select the client that you added earlier. And then if you added a company, you can now select which contact in this company is your main point of contact, or at least who do you want to send this proposal to. Then if you have multiple members in your Proposify account, you can select who the assignee is. So in my case, I only have one. And then you can click next step. So then here you will see the template again and you can make any last changes that you want. And of course you may want to get the signatures so you can go signatures and client input forms. And then wherever you want to have a signature, for example, in the agreement section, you can see it's already added in here. But let's say that you want to have multiple signatures. For example, if I would like to have one right here, then I can just go to the signatures here then drag in the signature box to wherever I want. Now, right now it's signature for me, but here you can select needs signing by, and then I can also select the client. So then you can see that now they need to sign here as well. Now there are a few more boxes that you could add, such as a new contact, input form, initials, or of course the signature. So after you're done, go and click on preview or just share it immediately. But you can see what it will look like for your client and they can just click sign and accept. So they don't need to find everything themselves and then they can go and sign it. So if it all looks good, you can then go back and then just click on share. And then here you can customize the actual email and from here they can just open the link to get into the actual proposal and you can see the subjects stuff like that you can add any cc or bcc and then just click send email and once you click send email it's on its way to this person so then it says proposal sent successfully now to actually see if it has been signed and stuff like that in the left you can go to metrics right here and then here you can see your created proposals, the send view to one loss, but these are more of the general metrics. So now to track if it's actually sent in the dashboard right here, you can see send one right here, and you can see who it's sent to, so which company, and if you then click on it, you will be able to track if it has been signed and stuff like that. So this person needs to sign it on two different places. And you can see right now it's zero of two, so they still need to sign it. And you can send them a reminder if you'd like to right here. And they will get a reminder email that they basically need to sign the document. So and then you can also customize what that looks like right here. And then you can send my client a reminder in. And then if they haven't done it yet, then in two days they will get that reminder. Now, if you want to integrate with different apps and softwares, you can go to integrations right there. And they can also choose to integrate with HubSpot, Pipedrive, or even with Stripe, which allows you to quickly accept credit card payments inside of your Proposify proposals. So if you actually want to use Proposify to also collect payments, then you just want to go and integrate with Stripe by clicking on it right here and then click on login to Stripe. Now you can also integrate with other tools such as QuickBooks, Zoho, Zapier, FreshBooks and more. So now you know how to use Proposify. If this Proposify tutorial was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.